didn't think to do a quick little video when I started this project here, but I'm revisiting my Little Gem Mark II uh, dual LM386 portable guitar amplifier they made like 15 years ago and um, decided that I'm going to cut in a external speaker jack that I can switch between internal and external speakers. And here's my original speaker baffle uh, with two four inch speakers that are eight ohms. Uh, I believe I have them wired in parallel. And um, here's my little speaker jack that I'm gonna use. And this is actually a voltage selector switch out of um, a dead computer power supply that I'm gonna use as a switch. And this will be my external speaker jack. Here's the actual circuit that I have built onto a little piece of sheet metal that I got at Lowe's. And pretty simple stuff, just an input volume, a tone control, DC jack for external power and uh, power control uh, switch, I mean. And um, today I reworked my volume and tone control. Um, which I didn't quite have working right, and that's basically what I've done. I've inserted that between the uh, FET buffer and the input into the dual LM386 section, which is right, uh, you can't really see it too well, but it's right here, stapled onto the inside of my uh, enclosure. So. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that hole and get it put in there and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put back together. So I got everything back in here. The chassis is back in the enclosure. I got my speaker selector switch here. Battery box back is back in there. Um, here's the controls mounted in the enclosure and here is my new speaker external speaker jack so this position is an internal speaker switch it over and that's external speaker so when it's on internal speaker it drives the two four inch speakers here which I calculated is equivalent to a six inch uh, speaker roughly I added just a little small half inch port here and um, it it will drive this this 2 by 12 speaker cabinet I have here with Celestian G12 uh, I don't know what is it H speakers <sighs> You can't see those, but it's too dark. So the speakers I have in this cabinet I made a few years back, they're Celestian G12S 50s. So they're 16 ohm speakers wired in parallel for eight ohm load. So that works out really nice for the little gem because it likes to see between a 4 and 8 ohm load so this is the speaker cabinet that I like to use with it a lot anyways it sounds surprisingly good in a, in a 2 by 12 cabinet um, I'm pretty impressed so I'm happy I revisited this project I didn't even intend to do this today but um, when I noticed my tone control really wasn't doing anything, I decided to rework that, and then that turned into, hey, we could stick this external speaker jack on it, and next thing you know, you know, it becomes this big project, but, uh, I'm happy that I revisited it. So, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put back together, um, as far as the speakers mounted and the grill cloth installed and everything, so... Let me do that and I'll show it to you. 
So here it is put back together with the speakers in and the grill cloth on. And uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm glad that I went ahead and did this. I really hadn't intended to, like I said earlier, but when I noticed that the tone control wasn't working, I went to tweak that. I had this idea all of a sudden that, uh, you know, why don't I put a external speaker jack on it? So that's pretty cool. That is very cool. Um, I guess sometime I'll have to maybe do a little demonstration video of what it sounds like. But like I said, it sounds surprisingly good for um, a little like half watt solid state audio op amp circuit. So anyway, it's pretty cool. I did a few additions to my project here. I changed the control labels to uh, black on a white background because they show up better. I took a handle off of an ammo box that somebody gave me a long time ago. It was already painted black. And I put it on here. It makes a good little amp handle, actually. And um, we labeled the external speaker jack so we know which one's in internal speaker, which one's external, and I uh, gave it a designation in military style. This is now designated amplifier, guitar, desert strum, M1A2.